G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. As you can see, I have quite a picture in front of me. The said picture was sent in uh, from someone who I am liaising with in Thailand. Now, <clears throat> Excuse me, he sent this in because um, he couldn't believe it for a start and he wanted me to have a look at it and test it. Now, I'm only going to do this, uh, I'm only going to spend the time today on this. That's it. I'm not going to go on to anything else. I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to show you the tests of this. And based on that and you will have to react accordingly okay let me play the video it's only a short video but it says a lot Excuse me. Obviously, um, this sticks out like the proverbials. Um, you can clearly see objects there in the front of it. Um, and to the side of it, it's kind of leaving like a debris trail as it's going. Uh, I don't have the experience to be able to tell you why it's doing that, um, like a corrugated iron sheet. Um, I'm not even going to surmise why it's doing that. It's pretty distinct. Um, if if anybody knows why it's doing that, then please let us know. Notice the sun. Look. I can't expand this anymore. That's half the problem with this at the moment. Um, and you'll notice that on top of the sun, there is an object. Well, I'm going to show you the tests that I've done because I don't, I don't want this particular image to take two hours to show you. I've already done the test. You'll just have to believe. I'm not going to show you me. I'm not going to show you me doing the test this time. I've done the test. I've spent hours on the test, and they all come back with the same result conclusion very conclusive. So let me go to those now. Okay, folks, well, this is the folder that I started because of this particular film clip. And as you can see, this is one of the, uh, or well, the picture of, or one of the pictures. I obviously did stills as I was going through to test. So I just wanted to show you that. Now, obviously, the ones in colours are my tests, so I'm going to show you the tests. Um, this will take a couple of minutes, and then that'll be the end of this film clip, this particular video, because there's not much more I can show you. Okay. You can clearly see... Um, just let me explain something to you. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat today. These, on each time you do the test, different colours and different variations in uh, light and variance and contrast and everything will give different, uh, will show different objects, you know, obviously because of the fact that they've been um, 
the each color will bring out different highlights for want of a better term so you can clearly see here I'll try to do it so it doesn't get too distorted now I've I've done all these tests as you can see most of them at a hundred as I said before now you can clearly see a massive great big object there one there one there one there one there there's another one over here and there's a couple here as well and then obviously you've got the squiggly worm in the sky now also like to show you this <clears throat> water never lies you can clearly see the picture I'm sorry about this but it's actually dead center of the actual picture so and this comes up on every single one of them so I'm sorry about that there's not much I could do about it you can see the objects in the water on every single clip Uh, it's it's very hard to tell down here, but it looks to me like there is more stuff there You can clearly see something is there, but because of the trees It's very hard for me to actually say to you 100% that there is something there, but I can 100% tell you that this is here <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt And I'd like to point out to you the fact that, you know, take the sun. I, I can't understand why the sun is doing that. But if you took the size of the sun in this clip, this thing is nearly the same size as the sun. Something to remember. This is the picture inverted. They're all inverted. I've taken this up to 200 so you can see it better, or so I can see it better. <clears throat> and you can clearly see once again the, pit, the objects there. Interesting to note that this has a very long heat trail. Okay, so these things are given off their own heat. I'm going to show you each picture so because each one shows something different just about right I don't have, don't have to daddle on that one one two three four five there's another one over here and there's another one over here you know I, I believe there's something here as well but like I said it's very hard for me to tell you that because I can't see it properly <clears throat> You know, this actually shows you exactly what I was doing for the testing. I'll try and make sure I get those in from now on because it actually proved that I did the test. You know, look at that. It's pretty conclusive, isn't it? It's bloody planets everywhere. It's like a planet of thorn at the sun. Um, this is actually just a gamma test. You know, you can actually see the heat coming out of this, out of the corrugated roof in the sky. This is a this is a black and white pick. Now, the interesting thing here is in the black and white is how much you can see. <clears throat> Look, it, it actually shows you down here even better. Now, I'm not going to tell you that they're, that's not tricks of light because I honestly can't tell you what, what these are. I'm, I'm assuming, assuming that these are something, whereas these are more defined. 
one, two, three, four, five. Bloody great big planet and, you know, four or five little ones with it. This was just the sheer colour test and you can still see it. The interesting thing that I kept this one for is actually because of this down here. These actually came up more, but like I said, once again, I can't tell you because they're kind of in the wrong spot. They're actually in front of the, the thing, so I'm assuming that these ones are actually uh, something different. And this is just another still shot that I took that I thought was interesting. This is just another variation on the colour. Now, you can clearly see this object here. It's bloody huge. Absolutely massive. Once again, a different colour scheme comes up beautifully. I spent hours doing this, folks, by the way. This is just a steel shot. You can, even without doing anything to it, you can clearly see the, that planet and the other little planets with it. As I said, you can clearly see it. Another still shot there. The interesting thing here is that you can actually see the smaller planets a little bit more than the bigger planets. And there's something up here. As I said, it's like a uh, planet party at the sun. Now, this this is this is interesting. <clears throat> Note the, the the spot in the middle of the sun again. Now, if you remember the other day at Trig Beach, I actually filmed, or I showed you very similar in Trig Beach. This colour scheme actually brought that out and shows you 100% that it's there. Now, the interesting thing was there's an, a, there is an absolutely bloody massive planet as well sitting off to the side here. Object, sorry objects forget planets these are objects we don't know that they're planets my mistake we assume that they're planets can you see the size of this this planet now uh, object now and and note on this color scheme that the background has been diluted but the foreground or well, the backgrounds come out and the foreground's been diluted a bit and that shows you these other planet, uh, objects that are there. These are just more steel tests. And this, you can just see the shading of some objects here. You know, the closer you come in, the harder it is to see them, obviously. If I take it out, you can see that object that I was talking about. It's bloody massive as well. And you see the little pimple on this object again. See it? And these here really, really stood out. When you did that, this here to me looks like a debris trail. As I said, these ones came out a little bit more on this particular test, but not as defined as these. And that was just another test to show you those ones. You know, clear as a bell. Clear as a bell. 
You can see the pimple, bloody great big planet, or object, sorry, and two other little objects there. One, two, three, and those other ones were there. Well, folks, I don't really have much more to show you on that, and I'm not going to show you much more on that because, honestly, I think that was a bit of a bombshell. One thing I did forget to tell you is that today is the 4th of the 3rd, 2017, and the time here in Perth is 10.54 a.m. WAST. The picture, the video that you saw, saw was sent in to me two days ago on the 2nd of the 3rd and was taken um, that, that day, that night. So I've had two days to muck around with it. Um, blew me off my feet when I saw it. Based on that, join me in the Lord's Prayer because even if you don't say it, just listen to the words because, um, folks, the pictures that I'm getting sent these days are showing me that we're heading for the world's biggest shit fight and you're going to need some form of spirituality and strength, inner strength to get through it. That's my sum belief in this whole thing. So say the prayer with me, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. As I said, even if you don't say the prayer, just listen to the words. And I'll say this again. The Lord's Prayer contains the sum total of religion and morals. Wellington. I'd actually agree with that. Right, folks. Until the next time, God bless you.